Hey there, Sock here from Socky e Ticket. In today's video, I would like to talk about one of the best features of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra, which is designed to hide sensitive data from prying eyes. This option allows you to lock away and hide your private content, such as specific photos, files, docs, videos, and even apps. This feature is known as the secure folder. It works in a fantastic way. So let's dive in and discover how it works. And of course, first, let me show you how to actually set it up. All right, so the very first thing that you wanna do is to actually set up the secure folder for the very first time. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into your settings and then you wanna scroll down to biometrics and security. You click it and then again, you scroll down and you're gonna see secure folder right here. It says, keep your personal files and apps safe and secure. So when you click it for the very first time, you're gonna see a brand new welcome screen. So you tap on agree, okay? And you do have to sign into this with your Samsung account. Now in my case, I'm just gonna put my fingerprints, that's the way I set it up, and it's gonna log into my Samsung account. You may just have to manually put your password and your username, but I'm good to go. It is creating the actual secure folder. And you can see all the highlights, add files to the secure folder to keep them private. Uh, you know, keep your apps secure if that's what you want. Now, the very first setting that you are gonna have to pick up is you're gonna have to pick up a pin number. Now, I do wanna let you know, this pin number is gonna be a separate pin number than the one you use to lock your phone or a separate password, unique for the secure folder. And also make sure you enable fingerprints so you're gonna be able to unlock the secure folder with your fingerprints. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose pin, tap on next. Uh, let's just pick something simple for this video. All right, let's uh, confirm that. Again, that's different than from my other pin number. So my secure folder is now ready. Now let me quickly show you what's happening with this guy. Uh, there's a lot going on here. I'm gonna show you everything, but first the basics. So let's go home first and foremost. And what's gonna happen is after you set it up for the very first time, you are gonna be able to uh, access it from the app drawers. It's known as secure folder. So I'm gonna grab this guy. I'm gonna dump it onto the home screen just for easy access, okay, in the middle here. So now when I click it, it launches a secure folder. It did not ask a password. Let's quickly rectify that because this is supposed to be a hidden space where you hide your photos, videos, messages, and stuff like that. So tap on the settings, go into the settings, all right, and choose this option. Tap auto lock secure folder immediately. Now, when I exit and try to go back in, it's gonna ask for a pin or a fingerprint, all right? Now let's go inside with my pin number for now. Let me show you how to move photos from your public folders to your secure folder. So let me launch my public gallery, okay? So public gallery is just sitting in my apps. So it's right here. I'm gonna grab one photo right now. You can do multiple photos. I'm gonna do one photo right now. Let's do this photo here. I'm gonna tap on it. I'm gonna tap on the button here and it says move to secure folder. When you do this, it's gonna ask you to either you know, put in your fingerprints or the pin number for the secure folder. So in this case, I'm just gonna go like that. It's moving the item. The item is gone, disappeared. It's completely hidden. Nobody can see it anymore. Now, when I go back home and if I go to my secure folder, because this is a secure area, nobody can enter this unless they have the password or your fingerprints, okay? So I'm gonna log into it. I'm gonna go to my secure gallery. This is not my public gallery application. This is a secure, private, and hidden gallery application. And the photo, let me just allow that, that I moved over is right here. Now, you can unhide photos. So if this photo, you did not, you did not wanna hide it anymore, you just tap it and you can say move out and it goes back to the public gallery. But as long as you keep it here, it's gonna be secured in here. Nobody can see it, okay? You tap it, nobody can access this. So that's amazing. I'm gonna show you one more thing that's very, very cool. If I were to launch my camera application from the secure folder, and if I were to take a photo, which I just did right now, just an example, it's just gonna be a dark photo. 
When that photo gets saved, it goes into the secure gallery. It's gonna be right here, okay? That's the one I just took. The reason is everything you, you do within the secure folder environment stays in the secure folder. Now, if I were to go outside and use the camera here outside of the secure folder, that photo would just get saved in the regular gallery. It would not go to the secure folder gallery. So when I go to my secure folder, if I were to go, go my Samsung notes, and if I were to create a notes application, uh, I'm sorry, a brand new note, it's gonna be a secret note. So let's just say uh, test, I'm just gonna say title T. And remember, this is happening in the secure folder. So everything is gonna stay in the secure folder. I go back, I can see it here, but when I go back outside to my regular Samsung notes, you're not gonna see it. You're not gonna see the T that I just uh, put it up there. So tap over here, go to all notes, and you're not gonna see the T in here. But when I go inside the secure folder, the note that I created within my secure environment gets saved here. Now, how do you move any file that you want to the secure folder? You simply tap on add files, okay? From here, you can pick your images, videos, audio, documents, any kind of document, PDF document, Word document, whatever, my files, you tap on this one. You can pick any file that you want on your phone using the file explorer, okay? Let me just go back out. So that's the way you add any file into the secure folder and access it with the corresponding application. Now, what if you wanna add an application, a secure copy of an application into the secure folder? You tap on add applications and pick any application that you want. So I can have a separate calendar application in the secure folder, right now I do actually, and anything I do here stays there, all right? So let me just skip all this stuff, cancel, all right? So add files and applications using this main menu. Now let's move on and talk about some more advanced stuff uh, with the secure folder. What I like to do is I like to tap on the settings button here, go to customize, and I like to change the name of the secure folder. I can change it to something like this, look. So finance, all right? So I'm gonna change the name to finance and I'm just gonna give it a different uh, piggy bank right here, apply. Now when I go out, the secure folder doesn't say secure folder, it just says finance. So somebody clicks on it and they see that it requires a password, to them it just makes sense. It's a finance folder, of course, it's gonna need a password. They just back off, okay? Uh, if it said secure folder or secret files, then they would be curious. What's in there? What's he hiding? What's she hiding? But in this case, finance, okay, everybody hides their finances, all right? So that's one thing I like to do. Number two, I like to go to my settings right over here. And even though we set, up, set this up initially, if you haven't forgotten, do go inside, put your PIN number in, and make sure the fingerprints are in fact enabled because it's very easy to log in with your fingerprints. I go outside, I tap it. Instead of putting my password or PIN number, just biometrics, boom, you're right inside and you can look at the stuff that you hid, all right? Now I'll show you one more thing. If I'm in the public gallery, let me just bring up my regular gallery application right here. If I, were, if I wanted to move multiple photos, I can just select the ones that I want to move. Again, tap here and I can say move to, now it even renames it right here, move to finance. So that's gonna take two photos at the same time and move it over to my secret files, my secure folder. So you can batch process stuff if you want. Now one more important thing, if I go into my settings, all right, uh, you wanna go to backup and restore and you wanna make sure you're backing up your secure folder to your Samsung account. You can use any account that you want. It doesn't have to be your main Samsung account. You can have a Samsung account specifically for the secure folder and just back it up, okay? It's gonna be backed up encrypted. It's gonna be secure. So when it goes to the cloud, nobody else can see it because it is gonna be encrypted, so you're safe. But the only reason you wanna do this is when you back up your secure folder, you can later restore it to another Samsung device from this menu right here, all right? As you can see, there's a restore option. You log into your account, you restore from a backup, 
uh, from before. And that's basically it. I think this is the best implementation of any secure folder on the planet. Other uh, manufacturers have been trying this. It's not as good because nobody can uninstall this, okay? Nobody can press and hold and uninstall this. It's always there and it always requires a password. It can be backed up and restored to any Samsung phone so the data never gets lost. It's a fantastic little tool. Uh, you can play with it even more and you know learn as much as you can. But I will give you one more tip. If you were to go to My Files, for example, okay, let me just grab this file, right? I just grab that file, I can tap here, and I can move it to finance, as you can see. So anywhere from anywhere, I can move send files over to my secure folder, or I can do it right from here. All right. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.